Okay, so how do I even? Okay, let's just. Okay, let me go ahead and read the title of the video we're going to be taking a look at today, guys. All right. Uh, my wife was born with male and female body parts. Um, break down the title. My wife was born with male and female body. Okay, so um, it sounds like the person that's going to be intersex. Um, what's the problem, right? What's the problem? Uh, the thing about it is, you're, guys, there are a lot of people who just don't realize that that's an actual thing, right? I mean, um, this is nothing to be to be laughed at. It's just, it's just a common typical human. No, I guess it's not really common typical, but it is a human condition, right? I mean, man, woman, intersex, right? The ability to have basically both. Um, I think the I think the another name for them would be maybe hermaphrodite. Maybe yes. I don't know if that's derogatory or not. Apologies if it is. I'm just saying saying the other terminology for it, guys, right? Um, but let's go ahead and see where this takes us, guys. Uh, something tells me this is going to be an absolutely intriguing one. This is coming from the channel uh, Love Don't Judge. Let's do it. This is Morgan. She fell in love with Curtis. I was born an uh, intersex woman, and that is when you're born with female and male parts. After sharing their romance online, people okay. questioned Morgan's identity. People think sometimes my husband is gay because I'm intersex. Someone said, that's a man we know. Girl, go seek help. Dude in a dress with a gut. That was when I was pregnant. What are you making? I mean, guys, this is it's tricky, right? But, like, they, intersex people do exist, right? So, so they... Do, and they absolutely, just like any other person, deserve to f deserve the ability to find love, regardless, right? Um, it's not the biggest deal. It's not a big deal at all. Uh, the person that they are are going to be with, I'm sure, is going to be catching a lot. Specifically, if they uh, from birth uh, display more like feminine traits, the guy that kind of gets with them will be looked at oddly based off of um basically current society right but i don't think this is a big deal bro personally i, I don't i don't really see it do whatever you want to do it's your body enjoy your life bro right either way talk referring to him right either way let's continue it, that was when i was pregnant what are you making honey chicken and rice oh yummy <laughs> i'm working in leah i know curtis williams People always make the wrong assumptions about our relationship. They have a lot of opinions, uh, unfair opinions. We met on a dating app and uh, I was at work and he reached out to me and I was just so happy on break. And I replied to his message. We met after work and we literally just talked all night long. He was very polite, just a gentleman. And that's what first attracted me to him. We met on a Monday, on a Friday, we were engaged. <laughs> what? I mean, a little fast, but okay. I would say we get a lot of love and a lot of hate. Yeah. Um, some people that don't agree with us, but... Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure. Again, there's a lot of absolute ignorance, okay? Um, this person here was born the way they were born. Right? Completely. Okay, they again. You, are you going to tell this person that they cannot uh, uh, exist? <laughs> That's crazy. Either way, as long as you love each other, that's all that matters. I was born a hermaphrodite, uh, intersex woman, and that is when you're born with female and male parts. I do have ovaries. I have the same full on everything, and you can either conceive or you can. Get someone pregnant. It's what? What happened? Wait, I thought you had to. Okay, I don't know. Wait a second. Hold on. There's a lot happening here, guys. Wait, this is new for me, I guess, fully. Here's the thing. I did not. Okay, I thought that. Okay, hold on. This is, you know. Okay, here's the thing. All right, I did not know that everything was just fully active. I thought that, you know, I, I don't know what I thought, bro. Okay, but I, I, but not what this person just said though. That's a hundred percent not that. I didn't think that. Okay, but whoa, that's interesting, guys. 
weird, but it's it's how I was born. Uh, I've come to love it. Growing up, my mom, she raised me as her son. And um, it was tough with that because I felt forced. I felt like I w was kind of pretending to be something that I didn't feel. I just felt more woman. So she raised me as her son up until I was able to go to college and live on campus. And um, that's when I found more of my woman and really just grew as Morgan and Leah. Okay. I can look at some photos. This is me when I was little. I think I was like one or two. Okay. <laughs> and that's my mom. Mm -hmm. That was me. School pictures. <laughs> the guy that was taking my picture, I think a booger dropped out of his nose and that's why I made that. <laughs> and that was like my picture for like the next three years. Growing up, I didn't feel like I really fit in with any, like, just anybody, girl or boy. And, um... Yeah, I, yeah like, I think in your case, that's completely fine. Right? I, you're com That's completely... Your exact case, do your thing. Uh, to be honest, I don't, like... You have the you have more than enough right to choose if you whatever you desire to to, to display as if that makes any sense more than enough right to do so. Um, yeah, it wasn't until I got into my adult years when I was able to go to the doctor on my own and do more research and learn to embrace my woman in me. I thought she was a catfish, <laughs> and she thought the same thing about me. Yes. I thought, she pretty, I got to talk to her. I didn't think she was going to text back. We met for the first time after she told me, right? Yeah. And we just talked, got to know each other a little bit more. I just explained to him my, you know, my body. Well, I was cool with it. I'm not judgmental and everything. And I said, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> People think that he's okay. attracted to males, but he's not. He's just. Okay. I mean, I would think so a little bit. Also, at the same time, I, I mean, I would think so a little bit. Okay, but okay, I, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around it, guys. Let's just be fully aware here. Let, let's continue. He's attracted to males, but he's not. He's just okay with me being different and understanding. Okay. That I do have both parts that I am more feminine than anything else. I like this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. That one. Yeah. So a few of the comments that I've received, someone said, that's a man we know. And someone said, girl, go seek help. Dude in a dress with a gut. That was when I was pregnant. My experience with pregnancy, we found out when we moved to a new city, right? I was in shock. We were really excited. We, we, you know, we prayed for that baby, and we tried to. I'm like I'm getting emotional. Sorry. Um, went to different doctors. I got turned down at multiple different clinics. Um, most doctors were like. We can refer you here, but we can't see you. And to be pregnant and to not get help, to not get checkups, you know, it was just a lot going on. I was nauseous, had very bad pains, and uh, we did lose our baby. Um, and uh, it was just, yeah, it was just a lot. Okay, the question is, I guess for me here, is, uh, is it even... Uh, like plausible for you to carry a baby full term, I think, is my next. Because I have guys I have so many questions. If that's a, I mean, okay, okay, guys, you guys have to help me out in the comments. To do with that, we have our chance again with parenthood. I guess God was just was not ready for us to be parents. A lot of people doubted 
you know, that I was intersex, people would say like, oh, those are two men. A lot of people have doubted that we've been together for real. People have doubted that uh, my pregnancy was fake. People were saying, oh, she just has a beer belly, or how can this be? My belly did not look the same. The things I went through weren't the same. Um, the way the baby was going to be birthed wasn't going to be the same. I was going to have to get a C-section. A lot of people have reached out to me, you know, um, telling me that they're also intersex, and by me speaking up has allowed them to feel heard, allowed them to feel like they matter. And, like, my story really just helped a lot of people. I'm sure it does. Kind of come out the closet with hiding. Everyone has their own opinion. There's miserable people in the world and misery loves company. But we've overcome a lot. I feel like it's definitely brought us closer. We just get stronger and stronger every day. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay, let's ride, Clyde. <laughs> I feel like God wanted me to share my experience and it opened doors for so many people like me you know, to know like you can get pregnant, it's possible to have a baby. I'm glad to be here with my beautiful wife and I enjoy this day with you, baby. I love you. I love you too. You know, I exist and this is my story, you know. He makes me feel safe. He makes me feel happy. Um, it just makes me feel like I'm here, alive. <laughs> We don't want to give up on each other. If people ignore me or don't like who I'm dating, I only can just ignore them and pray for them. Oh, it's a spider on you. Sorry. Come on, honey. Smooches. Mwah, gotcha. <laughs> to death do us part. Like, this is going to work for the rest of our life. This yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay, guys, hold, wait a second. <sighs> okay, guys, listen. So the reality is, is that these that, that intersex people do exist. That I, I never even knew that it was that big of an issue because I've kind of known of the existence that, that there are, um, you know, the men and, and, and women and then there's intersex individuals, guys, right? We do that. Right? Hopefully everyone fully understands that. I mean, you, you literally cannot help at all how you were born, right? Or where you were born or the family you were born to. These are things that you just cannot like literally change. Right? Um, I think that uh, in a different time, no, maybe not even a different time. No, I think that they, they've probably had it bad forever, right? Most likely. They most likely have had it bad on earth forever not being able to basically fit into at any time, like any time of the day, either feeling more like a man or feeling more like a woman, I guess, right? Like how exactly do you deal with that internally if you are specifically bored with uh, both sets of, of, of parts, guys? Like how do you decide, right? So does, does, does it surprise me that, um, excuse me, guys, um, does it surprise me that she, uh, that the mother specifically made her a, I guess, made her a boy. And then later on in life, she decides that she wants to be a woman, right? Doesn't surprise me. I mean, I would, I would think that that's probably most likely the uh, internal struggle that people that are, are um, that have that situation going on, let's say, uh, deal with on a regular basis. Bro, not my business, right? Live your life in that instance, guys. Um, you specifically have more right than anyone else on this planet to decide literally whatever you, whatever's going on is going on. I'm just, I'm just, that's just what it is. Okay. Um, or at least outside looking in here again. Um, I did not know that I thought that it was just like, not like, you know, certain things were not fully intact. I didn't know that. Right. I did not. I, I, I listen. Okay. Whoa, if that's the case, guys, and you can get somebody pregnant and and have a can you can you get yourself pregnant? No, you can't. Can you get yourself pregnant? 
I don't know, bro. Uh, listen, be fully aware. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I don't understand what's happening right now. I listen again. I know they. I know that these individuals exist, but I have never actually researched or or like looked into any of these things. But so I, if that's the case, then how does that happen? Because obviously, like a um, like a brother can in fact get the sister pregnant. Let's say. They can. It'll be, you know, it'll be, it'll be an odd, you know, situation, right? But it's plausible. The son can get the mother pregnant. That, you know, again, odd situations here. But can you, in fact, get yourself pregnant? That's a question that I think I need someone to answer right now, okay? Because this is going to plague my existence. I'm not going to judge anyone who gets themselves pregnant. That sounds interesting. I think. Right. That's it. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. All right. I'm just saying it sounds it sounds super interesting to me. I guess. But either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Guys, try to be respectful of the comments, please. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.